Since I was a kid, I've always loved the design of Cloud Strife from Final Fantasy VII. There's just something about his blonde, spiky hair, his mostly black outfit, and his badass, edgy, emo attitude that just always resonated with me as a child. It's one of the things that really resonated with me in middle school when I was really getting into Final Fantasy for the first time. I still remember picking up his Advent Children's outfit in Dissidia Final Fantasy for the PSP, a game that was actually pirated for me when I was uh, wee ones. <laughs> this along with how I remember hearing a lot of people talk about Cloud Strife and Final Fantasy 7 when I was really getting into looking at gaming videos on YouTube and just older video game players and enjoyers talking about the series made me really want to try out Final Fantasy 7. And so I did. Now did I actually beat the game? Unfortunately not. Now hold your tomatoes, hold your tomatoes, don't, don't, don't. Put down your fit your pitchforks for a second here. I will say it makes me want to go back and finish the game and actually get to the ending of it. Because I did actually enjoy what I played and I felt like so much of the charm of Final Fantasy 7 is the unique design of the world and the characters and the aesthetic of Final Fantasy 7. When you really think about it, it is a massive departure from what the series has been up to this point, being a very high fantasy, more European inspired series, but it's a very logical progression from Final Fantasy 6 with its steampunk aesthetic with Magitek and all that shit. You could argue that Final Fantasy 7 was more just the taking that shit to the next level. The world is dark, mechanical, and full of signs of pollutants and natural decay, which is just fascinating coming from the other games. And this is reflected in the main character, going back to Cloud Strife. If you compare him to, say, the design of a character like Terra from Final Fantasy VI, Terra's design is very colorful. It's pink and white and depending on what version of her illustration you're looking at she has like this bright green hair it, it all stands out the same thing going to uh, Final Fantasy 5 with like Bart's you know the blue like flamboyant outfit almost robiness of it really is a massive difference go back even farther than that with like Cecil from Final Fantasy 4 and he's got the whole white paladin armor blue lips white hair, shit is just going crazy on the high fantasy scale. Come back to Cloud Strife, when you really think about it, it's strangely more down to earth, you know? He's got black pants, leather boots, brown leather straps, really just a lot of black in his outfit, a metal shoulder pad, very 90s, I fucking love that shit when I see just shoulder pads and fantasy design, very 90s anime Japanese media. But yeah, back to Cloud Strife's design, like, when you really compare him to previous Final Fantasy protagonists, his design is actually not that crazy or fantastical compared to theirs, it's more muted in its like color work. It really fits the kind of atmosphere that they were going for with the setting. Now I've refrained from bringing this particular point up up to this point but I feel like it's super important but his big ass massive Buster Sword is by far one of the elements that really stick out and just cap off the design, right? Because up to this point, the design is very like, almost like very work closey. Like he's got like the sleeveless black turtleneck shirt and everything, the leather boots and everything. It's the kind of thing you can imagine somebody wearing in the real world. But then it's like capped off by that massive fucking sword that no mere mortal in the real world could ever fully wield. It culminates to make a design that up to this point is extremely memorable in the minds of Final Fantasy fans as it sticks out compared to everything that has come up to this point. Now who is responsible for this design? You may have heard of him before. He's the man, he's the myth, the legend, Tetsuya Nomura. Now I have very um, perhaps controversial opinions about Nomura as a creative person at Square Enix. 
overall as far as his like storytelling and his game direction, but I will say that as a character designer, Nomura is absolutely fucking amazing, dude. This is the one thing about Nomura that I cannot shit on him for. I have to put respect on his freaking name. Everything in terms of character design that this man touches is just fucking gold. Bro. And it gives off a certain vibe that is so recognizable that gives me almost reminiscent feelings of something like Dragon Ball, Akira Toriyama's art style, not in terms of how they look, but just the recognizability of it. Like when you see Akira Toriyama art style, you know who that shit is from. And the same is true for Nomura. In Xenoblade Chronicles 2, the major antagonists of the story, the Torna Gang, they're all designed by Nomura. And that art style just sticks out to you immediately when you see it. Also, if you're interested in more talks about designs as far as Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is concerned, I made a video about a particular character from that game. Please support it and go watch it if you're interested. But yeah, back to talking about big dick cloud strife right i think the design of this cast and further characters in final fantasy was one of the first big major steps in namura's career to making him more recognizable and of course leading up to the creation of kingdom hearts a franchise that would become a massive juggernaut for square enix i think it's also easy to forget and understate the influence Nomura's designs with Cloud Strife and the party of Final Fantasy VII, the influence that would have on just the entire direction of art in the entire series afterwards. If you look at something like Final Fantasy VIII and Final Fantasy X and just everything after that, you'll notice just how much of that is just influenced by Final Fantasy VII. That very pretty emo-y look to it. And I know some people just fucking hate that shit but for me i've always thought it was cool all right i know i'm a fucking nerd y you're free to call me that but i definitely think i'm not the only one who feels that way and i feel like that's a big part of the success of this art style and the success of just Nomura's work up to this point. But yeah, I feel like this video has gone on way longer than I fucking had any intentions of making it, but I hope you enjoyed my big giant ramblings. If you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, please share the video with anybody you think would be interested in it. I really appreciate it if you do that. Also leave a comment down below. That also is a big source of motivation for me and lets me know that people actually give a shit about anything that I'm doing. So I definitely appreciate that. And once again, thank you for watching. I appreciate you and I'll see you later.